y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Catherine and this is just been Catherine by the time you all see this video we will be in a new season spring what do you all think about when you think of spring besides like spring cleaning for me one of the ways is definitely upgrading my house whether that's changing out the tiles whether that's upgrading the flowers around my house today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your standard knobs on your IKEA dresser what you need is three colors of your choice. I chose pink, white, and gold. Sponge brushes, painter's tape, a screwdriver, a top coat spray, and another brushes, just in case. And the knobs that come with the hemness dresser. Go on with the screwdriver to remove the knobs. Keep all the screws together to easily locate for an easy assembly at the end. The knobs are black and resemble a metal of some sort. So what I should have done here, which I talk more about it at the end of the video, is use a light sandpaper grit to give the paint something to stick to. Give your knobs three to four coats of paint. I decided to paint half of the knobs all white and the other half all pink for a smooth base coat. After your paint has dried, take your painter's tape and remove about an inch. Use the straight side of the tape as a guide to draw your triangle shapes in straight lines. What you see me doing here is using my nail to smooth out the line of the tape to prevent any paint from seeping through because I learned the hard way several times. Choose your first color to paint the first part of your knob. Use as many colors as you see fit. Remove the painter's tape immediately after while paint is still wet to avoid dry peeling. You should get a crisp line. Don't worry if a little of the paint leaks. Take a damp towel and wipe it away. Now repeat the step. After letting the knobs dry all weekend, I am very impressed of how cute they turned out. But what I didn't get footage of is how I created the triangular shapes. But it's simple. View the black lines as painter's tape. Line the tape in a V-shape and paint the inside. So I have my triple thick gloss glaze that I am about to spray on the final knobs of my dresser and then I'll be all done. The triple thick adds a glossy finish while also protecting my knobs from chipping in the future. So after two or three minutes, I brought the knobs in and I installed them. excited how this came out like they're so cute like metallic white and pink knobs for an Ikea dresser it was so simple to do very easy and it looks trendy like I'm really excited that I decided to do this if you all decide to try this comment below if this is something you will even do and tag me on Instagram so I can look at your photos and post it in my Insta stories. If you love DIYs, make sure you check out my video of a hanging wall poster that I created for only $5. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. And give this video a like down below. And as always, I will see you all again. So here's the portion where I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I made. If I would have known this before I started, it probably wouldn't have not taken me this long. But I got you all, so you want to make the same mistakes that I did. Keep on watching. So this has been a trial and error phase with these doorknobs. Something that I've learned is that with metal doorknobs, you're better off using a spray paint that's adhesive to metal instead of painting. Painting still works, but it takes much more time and you have to paint over the knobs three to four times. So if you need to cut the time in half, use a spray paint. But because I am creating shapes using painter's tape, 
it would not have been as easy to solely spray paint. I recommend a spray paint primer for the base. Proceed with creating the shape using this paint that goes on smoothly and dries quickly. If I had to do this project over, I would definitely spray paint the entire doorknob white and then use painter's tape to do the shapes. So for an example to the right, I have three knobs, each painted with a specific number of white paint coats. This is the result of not adding a primer to metal. This is what it looks like with the paint, the white as the base and creating the shapes afterwards. This is what it looks like when there's no base and you just make the shapes. Chalk paint is definitely a must. It dries quickly and I love the finish. The gold is metallic so you can see the streaks and the white is an outdoor paint which I think I needed a different brush for it.